Hey y'all, welcome back. This is Cringe, jumping right into the video. Ugh, I could've gave y'all a warning or whatever, but obviously, we're starting a wax. I did go to European Wax Center yesterday to get my um my Brazilian, cause that's just one thing I will not do by myself. So I'm just showing y'all the wax. This is the consistency that I like. That's how I know when it's ready, when it's not too hot, and the wax is melted, how I like it. Like I always say, I am not a professional, so look. The, the, look, this ain't a tutorial. I'm just taking y'all along for the journey, but I do know a little something, something. So I do do it against the the grain of the hair. I think that's what you're supposed to do. But then on my last strip, I go with the grain just to make sure, like, if I do have stubborn hairs, I get all the hairs or whatever. So this is just me putting the first strip. Like I said, I'm not a professional. It is a little bit runny, and as you can see, when I pull off this first strip, it's not going to come off all in one. But that's okay. It still gets the job done. I do like to count to three in my head before I pull. Um, as a mental thing, I actually like waxing myself like I like the sensation of it I like the feeling of it I'm not a creep I'm not a crazy person but I do like it like it doesn't really hurt that bad and then to be bald for like the next couple weeks like I love that feeling so yeah anyway this is what I was saying the strip probably wasn't a good strip because I had to do multiple even though I just said like it's not painful I still don't want to have to keep doing unnecessary pulls but yeah the more I do it, the more I get better. So this is considered my second strip. Again, I'm pulling against the grain, I believe. And then on this third strip, look, ah, I was showing y'all the hair. Then on this third strip, I'm gonna do the opposite, as you can see, just in case I have stubborn hair. So yeah, that is that. Count to my little three, boom, 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 boom. And we gonna pull. Impressive, yeah, yeah. And then that third one was the magic strip. No more hair, I'm just cleaning up that little residue. Doing the same thing on the other arm, baby powder, just in case you get sweaty. The wax needs something to, you know, cling on to. It can't cling on to sweat. And I'm just doing the same thing. Cool it down, cool it down, pull. After the one, two, three, I'm just checking it out. Not bad, not bad, not bad. You can see the little hairs or whatever. But yeah, just going through. I don't know what I was listening to, but I was jamming out. I always need music when I do a maintenance day because it just makes it go by so much quicker. Is this the last one? Is this the last one? I think it is. And look at that. Now we're doing the happy trail. Same old thing. Baby powder pull. Opposite pull. Yada, 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 yada. After it is all said and done, I do like to go in and exfoliate because my skin is prone to uh, ingrown hairs and I don't do that. And then I go in with alcohol. I thought it was going to sting because the pores were open because I did just wax, but surprisingly it didn't. So yay for that because that's not a good feeling. I just do this to get any extra impurities or dirt so that it doesn't go into my open pores and then create bigger problems. Like I, I've had it all happen to me. So now I'm like, nah, no. Nah. And then I do a quality check. Is it clean? Is it clean? You guys to know it's clean. Come on. Look at it. <laughs> what? And here are the final results. Yay. I like waxing over shaving because um, A, ingrown hairs. And then B, I don't like my armpits to be dark. Even though it has a little discoloration, it's not as much as like if I were to shave. So anyway, moving on to the hair. This is a different day. This is, it's like nine in the morning. Um, I decided to do an Aztec clay mask. I showed y'all the ingredients that I use and make sure don't use silverware. You got to use like something else, like a popsicle stick or a plastic spoon or something. Don't use silverware because it can mess up, you know, the properties of the Aztec clay. But yeah, um, the hairstyle that I had before this, I had my hair straightened at the salon and whether I do it myself or get it professionally done, I do like to um i do be scared nonetheless about my curl pattern so i thought it was a good idea to go in with this aztec clay mask because it revives my curls and it cleans the heck out of it so yeah 9 53 in the morning i was showing y'all my time i wet my hair first so it's easier to distribute that thick old product and then i get moving this goes by really fast actually so yeah i just evenly distribute that make sure it's not too thick not too thin and yeah I try to be as thorough as possible and split each section into smaller sections because look, I need every strand to be touched and to feel this love because no, like just no. So I do a lot of separating, but like I said, it goes by really fast and it's very satisfying after you wash it out and you see those curls are popping down. Do you hear me?
after it's all said and done this is what it is looking like i'm just making sure that i touched every inch of my hair i was on the phone with my boyfriend um so he was making me laugh um but yeah now i just put it in a bun and i could put it in the bun and i could put it in the bun I'll just put it in the bun, get that out the way. And with any extra um, product, I do do a face mask as well. That's another thing I like about the Aztec clay. You could like, it, it, it gets your whole body right. Hair, skin, all of that. My skin be taut, okay? And I like that. So I'm just um, doing my little facial. He's laughing at me, making fun of me. But I'm trying to tell him that's why my skin is always A1 and yours is not. And that's why you always come to me for advice. Because, <laughs> come on, I'm the guru. Come on. Y'all see the curls freshly washed out the Aztec, no product, it's popping. So now I'm going in with a deep conditioner. Um, that's my holy grail. And then I'm getting that excess, excess girl, what? I'm getting the excess um, clay off of my face using my favorite product, which is witch hazel, just toning or whatever. So literally I only straighten my hair about once a year these days, but I kind of wanted to straighten it again. I'm not going to tell y'all the reason why because I'm kind of embarrassed to say, but I did want to straighten my hair again. So I'm doing that. I'm just blow drying, obviously. I do make sure to take all precautions because as y'all can peep, I do not play about my curls. Like I do not play. So, you know, I have the heat protecting. I have the oil. You know, I did the deep conditioner. I did the Aztec. Like I'm not about to bounce back from this with no strings in my hair. No, ma'am. Got to put on my Uncle Luth. My Uncle Luther with anything. Don't play. And this is me. Yeah. So now that we are fully blow dry, looking all crazy, this is what my hair is looking like. Um, my hair grows out, not down, if that makes sense. And then okay, we switching lanes again. Okay, girl. So now we're moving on to feet pedicure. I already did my cuticles and stuff. Um, a couple days ago because I don't like to do all that in one day like my cuticles plus the paint and that's just too much I get overwhelmed so I decided to go for a French tip that is my go-to for my feet is that a gray hair y'all see that gray hair anyway I decided to go for a French tip um to match my fingernails which y'all are going to see later in the video I just got that lamp y'all been upgrading my little nail supply slowly but surely and I love it it's like the little lamps that the beauty the beauty supply the nail salons actually use i feel all professional and you know but yeah i actually like doing my feet it's very easy it goes by very quick and that's just me doing the french tip i decided to go for mint because that is the color on my nails and they turned out super cute y'all are going to see these maintenance activities are taking place over the course of the entire weekend nothing is done the same day well everything isn't done the same day let me say it like that but yeah the just the french tip wasn't enough for me i mean it's clearly given with just the french tip but i wanted to add a little pizzazz a little flowers you know get a little creative since i have all these materials zooming y'all in so y'all can see what i'm doing i'm just making flowers on the big toe that's it something real cute springy and simple and they turned out so amazing so adorable when one design is done i alternate and put that in the lamp and then i just switch feet to give each flower a time to um you know dry by itself and not smear so that's what y'all are looking at right now did i say smear is it smear or smear i think it's smear but yeah anyway just switching gears adding that cuticle oil after the top coat you always need a top coat even though it's on your feet and then now here's the cuticle oil my favorite part i'll be pressed with this part and it smells so good and it's the flowers inside for me so those are my toesies didn't they turn out so cute y'all i love them i love them so much now y'all we are getting to the nitty gritty now i'm doing my nails so i'm trying a new design today basically i'm going to be doing quote unquote encapsulations the reason i put the quotations is because this is gel x i'm not using acrylic so is it really considered encapsulation i don't know but it gives the effect so that's just what i'm doing i'm going to put in some gold foil and some green butterflies as y'all will see soon to create that effect surprisingly it was not hard at all like i thought it being my first time like it's no way that this is going to turn out cute but it actually did turn out cute and it definitely gave what it was supposed to give i
something But in my phone I got options And I don't wanna tell you to drop me But I don't wanna play your thing Once my encapsulations are done, I go in and cut with my little fancy nail cutter. And then now I'm sealing that cuticle. Listen to me sounding all like I know what I'm talking about. I know a little something, something when it comes to my nails. I've been doing them for like a year and a year. and a, mm, I cannot talk, y'all. A year, a year and a half, something like that. So, yeah, it's become, I've become quite fond of it. I will say the better I get, the more I be wanting to do my, my nails. But yeah, I'm just filing away, doing what you're supposed to do, getting that shine off or whatever. I am not stingy at all. I be buffing the mess out of my nails. And this is what it is looking like after that. Pretty good. Y'all see the encapsulations? Mm hmm Get into it. Shape and all. Yes, ma'am. Get that excess. I said it right this time. Get that excess dirt off, wipe with the um a lint-free pad, and then I'm going in to do that final shape to make sure it's sharp, like I like it, and everything is even. And then I'm going in with that base coat before we do a second design that I just learned how to do. And we are going, we're going to try to attempt ombre, which y'all will see in a second. I'm just adding a little color over that um encapsulation because i didn't want it to be too clear it's like a beige you know it's it's like a milky beige almost clear color but it's not clear and here i am kind of struggling with ombre this was my first time doing it so i messed up a little bit but now i know for next time you know some tips and tricks but it turned out cute nonetheless so that's just what i'm doing doing the rest of the nails the ombre the um the full solid colors all of that and again my favorite part the cuticle oil a because it sounds good and b that's how i know i'm done like after all of that hard work i am done so just adding that cuticle oil and am i going to show y'all what it looks like at the end here i am y'all can see what i was talking about with the ombre like i struggled a little bit it's not it's giving ombre but it's not really giving ombre but the encapsulation was giving encapsulation so last and final thing i believe this was that same night y'all it was that same night and it was late at night too but I just got the urge to do it so here i am just straightening my hair pretty self explanatory pretty straightforward um i don't i sincerely don't have to talk through this part i promise i'm a for real shut up this time i can never manage to get my hair silky straight at home which is fine by me like it's whatever as long as it's straight enough what really do you want to do my voiceover? As long as it's straight enough where I can manage it and do the little cute styles, then I am okay with that. I know y'all see them ends. Yeah, not too much on me, but it got the job done. So yeah, this was the best wrap I've ever done. He is really in my face, y'all. I wish y'all could see him. Not me geeking down because I got my wrap the first time. I suck at doing wraps, but obviously you want to secure it after all that hard work. You got to secure it. So I'm getting the ooey dooey, wrapping that, and then I'm gonna secure it with a bonnet. That's it. That's all. After a long day, a long weekend of maintenance, I'm happy to be done. Thank y'all for watching. I love y'all. Bye.